green with brown trim. Beige with white trim. Gray with white trim. Beige. Green with, I can't, uh, I can't, I just don't know. <laughs> it's green, it's all green. That house is completely green. I remember hearing the story about how I was in kindergarten and uh, the teachers called my parents in because they thought there was something wrong with me because I was because of the colors I was using in my artwork. They thought I had problems. That I had thought I had emotional problems. The colors were just wrong. Like the this, I called made the sky purple, and the people were green, and the grass is orange, and the teachers call, and your parents are like, all worried. There's something wrong with you. They said we need to have a meeting with you. They went to the school. We think like, there's something wrong. And they pull out the artwork. It's kind of a weird. A conclusion to come to that you know five-year-old kid is expressing his emotional dysfunction by purposely miscoloring his artwork but apparently that's what happened and then somebody was just like oh maybe he's colorblind I remember taking the test I remember going to the doctor and they showed me the book you look at the circle and there's dots and they ask you what number you see. I have the pretty typical red-green color blindness, but I don't really know why they call it that because I get pretty much everything mixed up. Like I get blue and purple confused, I get red and green, green and brown, red and brown, orange and green yellow and green, pink and blue, like all of those, I can see something and think it's, you know, something else. You tell somebody that doesn't know anything about it and they think, well, there's colors that you don't see. It's not like you're blind in some way, you're just, it's it's like tone deafness. You know, the keys on the piano are like are like the spectrum of colors. And a person who is tone deaf, you play C and C sharp and they don't hear they hear the same note. And I think that's kind of what it's like. I look at stuff and where most people make distinctions there are places on that spectrum where I don't make a distinction. And that's why when I see something that's blue, I think that it could be purple. I just don't think about color, I think, the way people... People look at something, and one of the first things they think about is what color it is. Anything. And I don't ever think about it. I think about everything else, I just don't think about that. Well, if I look at that tree, I think about the shape, the texture of it. If your brain kind of comes up with a list of, of things that sort of relate to what that is, I'm, color is not one of them. I don't even think about what color it is. There is a small percentage of people that don't see colors the way everyone else does, and it kind of reveals the fact that we all just live inside our own heads. The colors are in our heads, they're not in the world. There is no such thing as color. It's, a, it's an artifact of perception. doesn't exist 
separately from the person that's, that's experiencing it. When you see an apple, and someone else sees an apple, and you both point at it and you say red. But you could be seeing what that person sees as yellow, and that person could be seeing what you see as, like, pink. But as long as you point at it and call it red, then you can communicate. I mean, people agree that something's red, and they probably are all having the same experience. But there's no way to know for sure, and it doesn't really matter. It would be easier to not be colorblind. It kind of would be easier if I could see it the way everyone else sees it, because then I would kind of, we're all on the same page. You're kind of like on a slightly different page if you're colorblind. It makes you feel kind of stupid, because it's such a simple thing for most people. It was, you know, something that you can't do, that everybody else can do. It's frustrating. My mom had this old Stella four-string, like, tenor guitar uh, that I found, like, in the basement or something when I was probably 12, and I used to m mess around with it. And then I got an electric guitar when I was probably four, yeah, 14, 15. But I was always, you know, I was always interested in music. I would try to figure out things on the piano. I didn't like want to take lessons. I just wanted, to, I, I liked trying to figure things out myself for some reason. That was what, that was what I enjoyed about it. I spent so many days thinking about different ways. If I could see everything uh, the way everyone else does, I think it just would be, it would make things easier. If I could just flip a switch and not be colorblind, I probably would flip the switch. But if I had to choose between being able to see color like everybody else and being able to figure out, you know, music and having an ear for music, I would probably, I would probably stick with things the way they are. Well, it's like that couch. I had that couch for five years. I thought it was red. Turns, turns out it was magenta. <laughs> <laughs>